from our house to your house. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. It is so good to be with you on this 25th day of Christmas. And today's theme is God with us. And we'll be reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, beginning with verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass. As the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. We've had 25 great days of Christmas, haven't we, with many from our church family who have read scriptures and shared devotions and insights from their hearts. Through this time together, when we have been able to connect with God and with each other in new and, I hope, deeper ways, why not make it 26 days? If not 26, why not 30? Why not 100? Why not 365 days this year of Christmas? For you see, Christmas is much more than a day. Christmas is an experience within the heart with Jesus Christ, our Emmanuel. May it be said of us, as it was said of Ebenezer Scrooge but in Charles Dickens' novel, A Christmas Carol, and it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well. If any man alive possessed the knowledge, may that be truly said of us and all of us. And so as Tiny Tim observed, God, God bless, bless us, us, everyone. everyone.